Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so I wanted to bring you the 10 best features of Bigsby. Samsung's Bigsby finally came out today, so we wanted to go over the 10 best features for it. Gonna have another video, a special video tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Like and share this video if you do find it useful. 10 best features. The last one might be my personal favorite and definitely uh, favorites for most of you who don't always know how to make your phone faster. So make sure you check out all of them. Really good all the way around. And let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so for the first feature, it's simply being able to take screenshots and posting them or sharing them right away. So it's quick and easy way. And it's something again that does several steps in one voice command. So I can say, hi Bigsby, take a screenshot and post it on Facebook. Now it didn't get post it on Facebook, so hopefully it works out. Let's create the post here. It did. So that is a good job, Bigsby. So, and now you can see it has me ready to type a sentence if I want to do before posting it, but it took the screenshot and immediately has it ready to post on Facebook. A great way to skip several steps right away. A great feature comes if you ever downloaded an app or your phone started acting weird and you're not sure why. Was it an app you downloaded? Was it something your kids did to the phone? What is it? Well, that's going into safe mode and finding out what happened. So we're gonna say Bigsby, go into safe mode. So the great thing about safe mode is if you hit this button, it will restart your phone without any downloaded apps on your phone. So all of them are disabled. Nothing can harm your phone that you downloaded to your phone through here. If the feature now works, say if your messages wasn't working or your play store wasn't working, if it now works, you know, it's an app you downloaded. So this will help you resolve that problem. So a great feature to do is to be able to send a photo via text message right away. So this can work just by saying the last one you took, say if you just met with a friend and you guys just took a photo together and now they want you to send it and you're driving. Well, you can say something like Bigsby, text message the last photo I just took to Darth Vader. have to cover it up just uh, because it'll show certain contacts and their numbers. The but as you can see, it works perfectly. And we'll let it stop there. But that's how you could send it very right away. It just it took the last photo I took, sent it to them, done. Very simple and easy to do. Now a really great feature added to this is simply to remember where you parked. Now this is obviously always useful and with the assistant, it can now do this very easily. So Bigsby, remember where I parked. And now it's saved it and that's all set. So you can ask it later, remind me where I parked and it will actually navigate you to where you parked so you can get back to your car and not spend a lot of time wasted just trying to remember what level or section was i in now one of the big things about this assistant is it can not only open apps but it can open to a specific section of an app so you have to keep that in mind especially if you always go to a specific section in an app so for me on youtube i say bigsby bigsby open youtube and go to my subscriptions As you'll see, it actually go specifically to that section. So really great for that purpose. It just, it makes it really simple and easy just to always get to where you want to go in the entire part, just so you know exactly where you want to get to and get to it right away. Now, opening up an app and going into it, a specific section is really great, but sometimes you just want to get it done quicker than that. 
and you can with something called quick command. Quick commands skip several steps just to get to what you want and something you definitely want to set up with everything you want to use in Bixby. So how you do this is by launching into the specific Bixby app. So I'm going to press this button right here. We're going to hit this little three dots and go to my Bixby. In my Bixby, we're going to go to quick commands and you can create your own commands here. So in quick commands, you can make your own and you can see I did one called DM. What do I have to do? All I have to say is DM and it's going to open Instagram and show me direct messages. So I have to just hold this down. DM. And it goes right to the section. Of course, as you know, these should be kept always private, so that's why I can't show you everything there, but always really great to go right to what you need to. So another really good way to use Bigsby is simply to be able to unlock your phone by using a voice password. Yes, you can create a super secret password phrase to unlock your phone. Now, Samsung will warn you, hey, look, this isn't as great as your regular password, so keep that in mind when doing this. So, first we're just going to open up Bigsby by hitting that button and now going into settings. And then we're going to go to unlock with voice password. From here, you're going to use your fingerprint or your pin and create your super secret password and I've already done that thing. However, here's the main part. You're going to say your phrase twice, then you're going to say two different random sentences that Bigsby's going to make you say, and it's going to make you say this so it learns your voice, so hopefully someone else can't trick it and try to sound like you. Here's the thing. How to do this is a step-by-step. -step. So you say the word Bigsby to unlock your phone, and then you say what you want it to do. So in this instance, I'm going to say open YouTube. And then it's going to say, what's your super secret password? Then you tell it and then it does it. Let's try. Hi, Bigsby. Open YouTube. Open Sesame. So you can see it's just that simple and easy to do. So if you want to be able to go ahead and go to a specific area or do whatever you want to do, send a text message, all you have to do is give your voice password first and then it's unlocked. So a really great feature to have in a business setting or at a convention is being able to scan a QR code. QR codes are basically uh, all of your profile information, so your name, the company you work for, your contact information, all of that stuff, or it takes you to a specific website, or it launches an app, or it enters you in a contest. These are really great, but normally most phones don't have it. You have to download a third-party app from the Play Store, or you do have it, you don't know where the heck it is or how to get to it. But with your voice assistant, you can now just say, Bigsby, scan the QR code. Okay, scanning now. It immediately opens up and scans immediately. So you don't need to do anything else but just point your phone, camera, at the QR code, and that's it. It uses, it uses Bigsby Vision in order to do this, but you might have not known that, but it's just so simple and easy that as soon as it does it, it launches and it's ready to go. Now, this is a really simple feature, but one that, again, you would want to use Bigsby for and one that's really useful for it. And that is just simply Bigsby. Turn on the flashlight. All right, the flashlight's on. Just that simple and easy to do. So if you need it right away, you can just simply use it. It's a very useful feature. Yes, a lot of them can do this. A lot of voice systems can do this. But again, it's just a really simple and easy way to do it. Even if your phone screen is off, you can just simply say this and it'll do it right away. So I did possibly save the best for last and that is just a simple question. 
Do you wanna make your phone faster? Do you wanna make it run smoother and just run at top shape every single day? Then you need to do this once a week. And that is just telling Bigsby, optimize now. This is clearing your RAM, it's cleaning up your cache that is built up uh, over you never cleaning it, and just a lot of things that uh, your phone typically needs. This will make your phone run faster. I recommend doing this at least once a week, along with turning off your phone once a week, and this will make your phone run much faster. And now you don't even know where to need to know where to go, do anything, this is a specific feature in the phone. But now all you have to say is just optimize now and you're set. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please share it on social media. Tag all your friends in it that have a Galaxy S8 and make sure to give a like thumbs up while you're at it as well. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.